welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be what I ordered versus what I got. I got a bunch of dresses and two-piece sets from Sheen. So I don't know if you guys, some people pronounce it Shane, but it's an app that has like a bunch of different clothing. Great pricing. As of tomorrow, I'm going to be 32 weeks pregnant. So I'm almost eight months and I really wanted to show you guys what I've been wearing. I mean, personally for me, it's been so hot being pregnant. I've had an amazing pregnancy. So if you guys have been following along on this journey, you will know I've been keeping you guys all up to date. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you get weekly um, updated videos like this. Also, don't forget to like this video if it's something you're interested in. Maybe I'll do an Amazon version or even like, you know, different things that I'm using for pregnancy, what works for me, what doesn't. I also want to do like pack my hospital hospital bag with me, stuff like that. So if you guys are excited for today's video, don't forget to support. Also comment down below what you guys would like to see. Let's get into today's video. So you guys, like I was saying before, if you're new here, then welcome. We're really happy to have you here. Uh, this channel originally started about seven and a half years ago. I uh, moved abroad. I'm originally from San Diego, California. My name's Taylor Parnell. Hi. <laughs> and um, I moved out to Israel, which was not in the plans for me, but it just happened that way. My partner, he's from here. He grew up here since he was five. We met in America. And when he brought me out here to visit, I loved the village lifestyle. I'm a really like farm country girl, but I grew up in the suburbs in California. So when I came out here, I was like, how we don't live here? Literally, we went back home. Two weeks later, we found ourselves moving abroad. Now, this channel was originally started so that I could keep my family and friends up to date of what life was going on. It was really vlog-like, and um, I guess it's just really developed into... We started it because we wanted to keep everyone updated, but then we rescued our pets. Um, I'm sure you'll see Bagheera's on my pregnancy pillow back there. He was our first rescue cat, and then Buddha is... See if I can catch this little noodle. Buddha is our most youngest child. He's another rescue cat. We have two dogs, which I'll just pop a picture up here because they're outside. Don't want to um, spend time getting them in here because they are a handful sometimes. So we have Bruce and Bonnie, their litter mates. We rescued them. And then also our horses, Prince and Edward. I will post a picture or video of everybody on the screen. So we were like, okay, this... YouTube channel can eventually fund an animal sanctuary. We were super excited just to like live life to the fullest, show you guys how we live our lifestyle out here, especially living abroad, moving out here. It was a big challenge, but at the same time, um, we learned a lot and I couldn't even imagine living my life any other way. So with that being said, um, I would say in the beginning of this year in 2024, I posted this video of me removing my birth control, we decided we've been together at the time, like eight years, we'll be almost nine years together now, that we were gonna bring a little munchkin into this lovely life slash family. And um, we were so lucky and blessed that like literally took my birth control out March 10th, got a positive pregnancy test April 10th. <laughs> it was the wildest thing. Now, I've been sharing my entire journey with you guys, and that is just the backstory. I guess if I could just scam through it and not talk you guys off too much. But today's specific video is out here, it's super hot. If you've been pregnant before, then you know that you run very hot. Now, we are in fall time, of course. We're in October, mid October, and it is still like high humidity, you know, 85 plus degrees outside. Plus, I think I'll find myself wearing dresses probably my whole pregnancy since I'm now eight months. I don't have much more time to go. I'm dying for the winter and the rain. Comment down below what is your favorite season. But let's just say the, the dress life is the best life, okay? Now, if you need advice of what to wear while you're, being, while you're pregnant, if you're a first-time mom, soon-to-be mom like me, I'm going to highly recommend some dresses that I've ordered. This one I'm wearing now, I literally... Could live in it it is amazing the fabric is so thin but what I kept in mind when ordering these dresses I just didn't want it to be a one-time situation so just some tips that I'm gonna share with you guys like of what I ordered for what what I got and like different things that maybe I would have changed or pro 
probably preferred. Especially, I wanted to make sure that not only I could grow with the dress so it had a lot of space, but I also, after I have my baby, I want to be able to breastfeed. So I made sure that looking at the top line, also making sure that when I hopefully get back to my size, um, the dress can go both directions. Also, it's a little too much information, not too much information, but yeah, baby will want like more kids. So I just want it to be something that I can enjoy that's kind of more mom style that fits the bump, fits no bump. And if we decide to have a kid again, you know, in the next few years, I can still wear it and it will just kind of grow with me. Also, I'm sure when you guys are stepping into your mom era like me, you're kind of like, what is going to be my style? I also want dresses that, for instance, if I'm running after my kid once she, she if you guys didn't know, we did a gender reveal. Once she's like running around, I want to be able to pick her up or bend down. So I think length is super important. Um, let's see if I can back up here just a little bit. This one is going to my... Cat. So this is what I ordered. I'll put it on the screen here. Um, I got a size large in pretty much everything. And again, I just love this dress. It's super flowy. It's super thin. The buttons down below are not real buttons, but I'm totally, totally fine with that. If you guys can kind of see, I'll bring it up closer. Now, again, like I said, the material is more thin. I love that it's cutting off at the mid arm. I think it makes it, me look more slender. Um, the tank top versions definitely make me look a little bit thicker, but that's totally okay. And I love this part of the tie in the center. It really can loosen up really big so that you don't have to tie it if you don't want to. It's more of like a boxy fit. But then if you really want to just add some, um, what's the word, like curves or something, I just love that you can just tie it like this. It's super cute. Also, I think when breastfeeding, just being able to open the dress up a little bit will be great. So I'm telling you, I think it comes in red and white. I would order all three colors. I literally, this is probably my favorite out of all of them. Maybe. I, actually, no, I have a few other favorites. So let me change and show you guys in the next one that I ordered versus what I got. All right, you guys, this is the next dress that I ordered versus what I got. And I really love this one too. Um, it is like not so low in the back, so your bra's not sticking out too much. It is a thicker material, so I do feel that it's like not see-through. There is one dress that I feel is a little bit too thin for me, especially because I am growing. The bump works good. It has pockets, which is a huge plus. Um, I love that. I think it will work all the way until I give birth, but at the same time, it is not as stretchy. Again, like I said, the material is quite thick. It's soft. Um, it has adjustable straps. The other one um, didn't have pockets as you saw, but I really do love, this is like the full length. So sometimes I do find myself a little too much information, but if it's really hot out, I'll find myself like sweat, sweat dripping down my legs. Like that's the truth. And with the other dress before, I feel like it was more flowy enough that I wouldn't like, I was always fearful that like, you know, maybe if you sit down, like the wet would transfer onto the dress. So this is definitely a dress that I wouldn't wear if it was super, super hot, just because it's a little bit more clingy, but I really love this one. It's really comfortable. And again, another one of the things like I want to show you guys when I'm sitting down, especially at this far, far in my pregnancy, it really is not comfortable to sit with my legs closed because of my belly. So I need dresses that are longer that I can stay appropriate, but also sit with my legs wider open because that's just how it is. Um, so I feel like, you know, especially when you're bending down, if you need to like bend to get something, I just love the length that's from past your knee to the ankle. So really love this one too. I don't remember if it came in other colors, but if it did, I will order more. Size large still. I'll put like all the sizes, all the details of it on there. Um, but yeah, let's do the other dress. All right, you guys, this is the next dress that I ordered that I was saying that the material is a little bit too thin for me. Um, specifically because as you can see, it's just kind of gripping in the wrong places and you can kind of like see through it a little bit also in the back it's just not helping that area I feel like it's just 
like there's certain materials that make your skin look smooth and then certain materials that you're like that makes my skin look a little bit not so good the straps are adjustable the back is um pretty high which again i love for covering your bra the top part is like a little bit different if you're wearing like a nursing bra but again you probably could breastfeed in this one does have pockets which is a plus but you can kind of see like the lining of the inside so that's why i feel like it's a little too thin if i at this size if i wear it out i'm usually wearing something tight around my waist to like cover this just in case if like i bend down and it's um see-through i do like this length um it's a little bit shorter than the other dress but it is like the thinness of the material is more uh compatible with like the hot summer you know breeze or what have you but again i just feel like it's a teeny bit too thin the color is okay um i would probably get it in different colors maybe if it didn't look so showy like as far as like your skin type who are you like sitting on my dresses but yeah this one's pretty good cute what i order again order again maybe I'm trying to think if there's anything else about this dress no it's pretty like self-explanatory i guess um now i'm going to show you some that like i feel they look better without a bra but the problem is is if you are breastfeeding or leaking while you're pregnant which i am you have to use pads inside and so i don't feel like some of them you could get away with wearing pads some of them not so much um and some of them i feel like is like a little bit too uh deep of a v-neck so let me show you those all right so there's this one i think the color is beautiful love 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 how flowy it is the length is so cute um i loved also the fudgicles i forgot what it's called pleats i'm not sure if it's pleats but like i like the design on it again i feel like it's much more flattering without a bra um but i feel like it is a teeny bit see-through so wearing pads with it <clears throat> would be better anyway but um also help with leakage the thing is is the material is really like it's like kind of see-through but not it is comfortable material again it's really like flowy which is nice this is great for a super hot day or again like some of them would just be super cute if it's cold out and like stepping into fall winter and it's cold you can wear like a jacket style them up love that the v-neck is a little bit deep but you can still breastfeed probably with it um i just don't know like i think bending down you'll be secure but at the same time there is like this ribbed area underneath sometimes it cuts off your boob a little bit but it also helps like support everything so i mean there's plus and minus and everything i would probably get it in more colors for sure and um the the straps are adjustable as well so again i find if it's t-shirt version it is much more flattering but i do think in the hot summer days having um, the tank is like much more comfortable and again i think these most of these dresses will wear in to wear like i wore this one to a party i'll show you guys my next one which is like literally my favorite that i wore to like a few weddings um and i ordered one that i wanted to wear to a wedding but i didn't end up wearing it i'll show you guys because it's strapless and i was not unsure i was unsure about it so yeah love this dress think it's super cute flattering think it'll be great once you know i'm in my postpartum journey what have you and again i think a lot of these dresses you could wear in the house too it's just super comfortable flattering you have room the bump can really grow like super grow and yeah let's do the other dress All right, you guys, I would say this is my absolute favorite what I ordered versus what I got dressed. It, I don't think it comes in other colors. Like I would literally live in this dress in every color. I just love it. It's so darn cute. Like seriously, I don't know the pattern, the colors, the cut, the material, everything I love about it. It does have a slit, which is great. And it's not all the way down to the ground. It is super flowy, cute. I love 
the back of it, it's the strap is actually adjustable. So it's like connecting from the back and connecting through here and you can tie it and make it tighter or looser as you want. If you're breastfeeding, you'll probably need to untie it, but it becomes really loose and you can do that. Um, again, the material is it does wrinkle. That's maybe the only thing that I would say is bad, but I really don't care. I just love this like pink and red contrast in the print. I love how it hugs the bum. I definitely think I will be able to wear it my whole pregnancy. Um, I love the top. I just think it's so cute. It's supportive. You can grow with it. Also, the other thing I do wear pads with this, which, you know, like if you're breastfeeding and you're leaking, it is what it is. People might notice, but like, I just think it's so flattering, so cute. I'm totally gonna grow with this. If anything happens to this dress, I'm gonna order another one. I just love this dress. I don't know what it is. But um, yeah, I wore it to a wedding. Many compliments on it. I just think it is so cute. It's more like high-end looking. Again, all these dresses are like a really reasonable price and I think that they will last longer. Um, but you know, to each their own. So yeah, I think it's super cute. Um, I also took a few like monthly update photos in it. Just one of my favorites. I don't even know if I have anything else to say about it. Like I just love it. The back is like um, also that stretchy material too. So it's not too confined. I don't know. I just like really scored with these orders because they're really like great overall dresses that really you can use while you're pregnant, after you're pregnant, postpartum, running around after a kid. So cute, love, let's go to the next dress. I still think this dress is cute, okay? This is what I ordered versus what I got. It's a little bit tighter. I still think it is so stretchy that I really feel that like I could probably use it for my entire pregnancy. It is just tight, but the material is, um, like if I sweat in this, I don't think you would quite see in this material. I'll show you guys up close. It does have a slit, which is nice. You get a little extra breeze in there, but it's pretty cute. I like that it's tight and it shows the bump, but it's almost like a little too much sometimes. It is um, strapless, so that's one thing that is it going to be like comfortable? I'm not sure. Is it like an everyday dress? Not sure. I really haven't worn it yet. I wanted to wear it to a wedding, but um, the dress before just I, I could not wear it. So yeah, it's, it's a really nice material. It's like this, how would you call this? Like a fish netty material. It has like two layers, like a silky layer underneath. And then um, it's like this, you can kind of see it a little bit. Like it's not ribbed. It's like a f kind of fish netty material, but it's super soft. I thought the pattern was really cute. Maybe I can use this for like, you know, nine month update photos. I don't really love how it looks with you know the extra skin here just because I'm a little bit on the bigger side right now but that's totally fine I'm pregnant and that's normal but I just I love the fit it also has um what is this like ruching maybe ruching right here so it kind of like hugs in the right places but yeah I think it's super cute if I end up finding a place to wear it too I'll definitely update you guys would I wear it daily I'm not sure I don't know. I still think it's cute. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I would, I would order this in maybe other colors and I would probably like really love it if it had straps. So maybe I just need to look around and see if it has other straps. I have one more dress for you guys. And if I still fit into the two pieces, I'll show you them. But yeah, I wouldn't say get two pieces because they don't really grow that well with you. And I'll tell you guys why in just a second. Okay, sorry you guys if the frame changed. I had to check my sourdough. Probably gonna make another video on that. I'm finally starting to do sourdough. I'll post a few pictures, but um, yeah, it's been like a little hobby of mine while I'm pregnant. If you have been thinking about doing it, I struggled a lot with the sourdough thing. So this is your sign, you should do it. And comment down below, I can give you like someone that really made it simple for me to like figure out how to do the sourdough starter and all of that. And it's really fun to do like fall winter time. So definitely like think you guys should get in the kitchen if it's something you've been thinking about and you're pregnant. Really great hobby to start. Okay, last dress. This dress is pretty cute. I really loved, it's, I would say the same vibe as it is um, what for like what I ordered versus what I got. It is super grow with you no matter what size 
we're gonna be if she gonna grow with you. Love the pleats in it. The back is really flattering. It's cute. It does also have stretch to it. It's not like um, structured. It has like a rubber band and you can stretch with it. The straps are adjustable as well. It is a nice material that it's not too, um, it's a little bit on the thicker side, but it's not like, uh, what's the word? It's not gonna wrinkle. You're not gonna like sweat through it. It's not gonna show anything. Really cute, really nice. Love everything about it. I don't know if I did a twirl in it, but yeah, it's just super flowy, super nice. Now I would say the only thing that I dislike, first of all, I need a tan. This would look much better with tan. Love the print, does come in different colors. Would I order more? I'm not sure. The only reason being, I do think I could figure out a way to breastfeed in this. The only problem is, is I can find a bra that would work with this dress. And I feel that I couldn't really put pads. I think the pads would just slip out eventually, especially if I'm moving around. Like, let's say I have a crawling six month old and I'm still breastfeeding and I have to like go after her. Not 100% sure. I did leak in this dress without a bra um, from my girls, you know, and you can tell and see the leakage. So I don't know. It's super cute to wear around the house, super cute to wear out, especially if you're not like breastfeeding and leaking like that. Um, oh, you could probably use like the reusable or non reusable. I have you reusable pads, but you can probably use just the sticky ones and get away with it. That's the only thing I would say about this dress on a very hot day, just because it's like, doesn't have a slit in its full length. It's a little bit risky for me with the sweating, but I feel like since it has the pleats and the material, I don't feel like I would be too worried about like sweating in this. Um, yeah, super cute. Love this. And I think it's time to show you guys the two pieces and wrap up this video. All right, you guys, so the two piece sets. I love the idea of the two piece set. I think it's a great way to look cute, not have to think too much about it. I'm showing you guys without the top on it just yet. I also got these, they're like those flip breastfeeding bras from Sheen. I can do a whole haul if you guys want, like Sheen haul of all the things that I got. But we're focusing on what I ordered versus what I got for specifically outfits for pregnancy. Now. One thing that I did notice is I got a lot more thick legs now and more cellulite. Totally fine, totally normal. Respect your body, love your body for what it's doing. The only thing that I really don't like is the stretchiness. Like I was able to wear this probably till I was like about six months now that I'm eight months. It's just like I'm afraid I'm gonna rip my pants. That's really how I feel. Can I sit in it? Yes, should I? I don't think so because I'll probably rip my pants. Love this top. I think it's so cute. The color's great. I can't wait to wear it. It's 100% um, cotton, so you kind of stay cooler in the summer. Now, with the bump and everything, I the buttons are real, which is great, too. The only thing is, you can see, it is quite wrinkly. We don't have a dryer. We dry hang our clothes. Um, so, a little wrinkly. It's not so fun. Also, again, it's probably not so flattering um with the bump but it works it's okay and you can wear it with like t-shirts like sometimes i'll just take this top off put a t-shirt on or you can wear this like out open um but again i don't like this is like a fake drawstring so it it could if it wasn't like a fake drawstring then i feel like it would have more stretch um, I got this in like the largest size that it comes in. So I would really love if I could get like more flowy, stretchy shorts, I would wear more of these. But since the two piece sets that I ordered are not so stretchy and stuff, they're just, they're cute, but they're like, okay, maybe like postpartum, you know, halfway through losing all the weight cute, but like, not like this cute. Um, like me, how pregnant I am or you know, the growing, like my, I'm a little bit more self-conscious of my legs. I feel like the dress is nicer. Sweating wise, the dress is nicer, more flow. There's like no give in these shorts whatsoever. So the first um, thing I would recommend is something that is just super stretchy. There's some cute winter sets that I've seen on TikTok that like are very stretchy. Like you could put them up over the bump. 
I didn't order any maternity things because again, I just don't want to have all that loose material when I, like my bump eventually starts to die down. So that's like the thing I was thinking about. But yeah, I would just way prefer um, some more stretch in these. I'll show you guys another cut. It's a, little, it's a bigger size than this one, but the sleeves are a little bit longer. And then there's one that just didn't work even when I ordered it. So again, these shorts are supposed to be large and they're, I like that they have more of a cut here, but again, I feel like if I sit in these, I'm gonna rip them. <laughs> That's why I don't wear them right now. It's a cute set, but again, I just don't feel like I found the right set. Like I've seen a few on Amazon, but they're like so pricey. I'm afraid if I order it and it doesn't work out, I'll just be like, why did I waste my money, you know? So if you have two piece sets that you recommend, definitely drop it down, but <laughs> drop it down. But you can see, I need a different material. I just, what's up with all these wrinkles? Like not flattering whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? Like I would definitely, like, I don't know. I'm just, it's just, I like the length of the sleeve. I like the idea of it, but just, it's not working. It's not working. Um, I could probably like wear like a white t-shirt and put this on top, but then like that's just more layers and I'm hot and we don't need more layers. But it's, I like that the, like the main goal is also for this part to cover your booty. But again, I need some stretch. I need some give. These shorts, I feel like I'm suffocating. Like I wanna be able to pull it up over the bump or not pull it over the bump. And I need some give. I need to be able to like swing my leg around town and not feel like, again, that it's gonna rip any second. So I just feel like this material is just not it. Um, and yeah, it's just not as breathable. Maybe I need to design my own two-piece set, or again, you guys need to help a sister out and comment down below. If you guys have ordered even on other sites like Amazon or something, and you're like, oh, this set is totally cute, let me know, please. Because I love the two-piece for summer, love the two-piece for winter, but I don't want to pay a large price if I don't know exactly. Like, I would prefer to try it on before I buy it if it's expensive. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I can't believe this bump. It's crazy. Let's try it. Actually, you know what? I'm probably not even going to fit in it. Let me just show you guys. I thought this was so cute. I don't know. The pattern just screamed to me. And I was like, so cute. Shorts, way too short. They have a little more give. But, like, once it gives, it's gone. And these, I ordered them, I think, around, like, four or five months couldn't fit in them. Um, they're cute, but they don't have pockets. That's another thing. These both have pockets. Um, and the shirt, the material is like, I'm going to sweat, sweat my life away. It's cute. And maybe like I can wear it next summer when I'm like back to my size and it will be more flowy. I don't know. I really love like the pattern. I just think it's really different and strange and like a cool way. And you can kind of mix with different colors and stuff. But yeah, the material didn't work for me. Um, the size didn't work for me. I just didn't think like it, it just didn't like, I'm not even going to show you guys because it's not, there's no way it's going to fit over my booty now. If it didn't fit over my booty, <laughs> if it didn't fit over my booty then, but maybe I can show you just the, like, I wanted to get colors that you could mix and match. So if, just for example, whoops, this does have like a light blue in it. So I could wear like more plain, um, shorts if I wanted with it, but you see, like if I even tried to button it up, it would just not happen. And I don't like the length. It's not like really covering your butt back there. And yeah, I don't know. Like maybe it could work for a fall thing if it's like chilly outside and you're like, okay, I could like layer it. But yeah, it was, it's cute, but it's, it's not going to work for the bump. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the things. Like I literally live either in some stretchy, stretchy shorts and a broad top at home because I'm so lucky for the lifestyle that we live or I'm um, going out and about in dresses. That's pretty much how it works. Um, I have some clothes that fit me roughly, <laughs> but again, it's like not, maybe not as flattering or maybe just like not my style for right now. I'm still also trying to figure out what my style is going to be as a mom. So yeah, I haven't worn jeans my whole pregnancy. I haven't worn shorts. I don't wear anything confining. I was preg I found out I was pregnant April 10th. So the summers here can get to like 100 degrees, 80% humidity, full power. Like I wasn't even out and about that much, but when I was, 
I was sweating and I needed something flowy and not constricting. And as my belly has grown, which I have been so lucky to have such a cute big belly. Um, yeah, it's just been something that I've just been adjusting to. So these are all the things that I ordered and what I got um, off of Sheen or Shane. And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see like full hauls as far as like things that I also that I order for there or for the baby or for my postpartum, all of that. Uh, also on Amazon, there's the TikTok shop, but not ordering from there. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was, again, I really put in mind everything that I bought for being pregnant and after pregnancy was really to make sure that one, I could breastfeed if I'm going to be lucky enough to do something like that. Two, that I can be comfortable whether I'm in the house or outside, no matter what the weather is. I feel like even if it was actually cold outside, which I'm dreaming for the day that it's cold and rainy, I would still probably wear one of those dresses and be warm enough. Um, I also want to be able to style it or not style it, wear it in the house. And... Yeah, I just don't, it's like the most thing that I notice for myself is I don't want to be constricted as I'm constricted in these crazy pants and not feel like it's going to rip or break on me. It's going to hold and last me not only through my pregnancy, but postpartum, growing a kid, uh, chasing after a kid, maybe having another kid, you know, so all of that jazz. So I hope this video, you guys, was like helpful. I hope it gave you some tips and things that I've learned as becoming a first time pregnant woman slash mom. And yeah, I look forward to more things on this channel. I'm definitely going to, like I said, do a nesting vlog. I also really want to do like the hospital bag, all of that things. Maybe I really want to do minimalist of what I'm going to use with a newborn and, you know, toddler and all of those things, everything growing up. And I also am considering, I'm going to document my birth. And if you guys didn't know, I'm having, I'm giving birth to a baby in a different country, like abroad. And I'm planning to do a natural water birth. If everything goes smoothly, I know things can change. And I just want to clarify that, like, you know, as long as you have an open mind, you're preparing yourself for uh, birth. This is the goal, but anything can happen. So I am going to document all that and probably post a birth vlog on here, too. So you guys, don't forget to like this video. It supports my channel so much. It also helps other people like you get videos like this. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. It's down below by my name. It's free to do so. And turning on those bell notifications will have you join our family. Also let you know when we post new videos. And yeah, it will support me so, so, so much. So I'll really appreciate if you do that. Also comment down below what videos you guys want to see or anything. If you guys had any favorites through these or recommendations of two-piece sets. I would really appreciate it. To all the moms out there, I am so excited to be on this journey with you. It's gonna be so much fun and we're gonna do it all together. And for those of you that are already parents or not parents, I just am happy to have you a part of the family. And yeah, there's so much more to come in this beautiful life and we're all in it together. So thank you guys again, love you all, and we'll see you all on the very next slash bump update and video. Bye, everybody.